Join me, 48 Hours Correspondent Erin Moriarty, on my podcast, My Life of Crime, as I take on true crime investigations like no other. This season, I'm looking into the labyrinth of crime and secrets within families. I'm cutting straight to the evidence and talking to the people directly involved, including investigators and the families of victims. Listen to My Life of Crime with Aaron Moriarty wherever you get your podcasts. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, I almost did an episode with my microphone muted. Bro, do you know how mad I would have been? If I would have sat here, I mean, with the program that I use, I eat like within the first few seconds, I would have caught on. But it's like, imagine if I like if I didn't know, you know, like what? Like, I bro, I've been mad. I sat here for 15 minutes talking on this um stuff or on this topic and that my microphone wasn't. Nah, bro. I'm like, I at that point, I'm mad. I'm probably not going to do anything content creating related tonight. Like, I'm, I'm just going to sit here and be upset. So. But no, anyways, what I wanted to talk on was this tweet that I had seen. And uh, yeah, it's it's one of those tweets where it, like, you know, it, it gets you uh, talking. And of course, I had to um, roast the individuals that were um, that or roast the individual that was uh, that tweeted it out. But um, yeah, so the uh, person goes on to say, uh, natural bodies are for poor females. I said what I said. And how I responded to that, and I don't think I went too far. It was just that's that's how I felt. But um, I go on to say, people that say stuff like this got bad credit and unpaid parking tickets. Cause why why are you going on Twitter, right? Why are you going on Twitter thinking that people are going to care about your opinion on natural bodies when it's not even your body to be worried about in the first place? And the funny thing is, is like. They'll say things like that, right? There is women going throughout this, like, oh, their whole lives, rich, successful, independent, ain't worried about nothing and nobody, natural body, bruh, natural body done lived out their life, okay? All natural. What, like, what? They're still, and it's funny how it's like they, you know, let, let's just overall see how many followers. Cause it's like, you say things like that, I assume. You got 4,000 followers and a OnlyFans. Like, st- just, just stop talking. I'm like, you, you must have a natural body then. Cause I'm like, if you, if you're at that point in time in your life where you got create an OnlyFans, fam, you are struggling. You must have the most natural body possible, bruh. Like, yeah, it's just, it's, it's so weird, man. It's it's so weird how people they get. But no, overall though, I wanted to you know I wanted to talk on that you know because at the end of the day, it's your body, it's your choice. If you want to get work done, you can do that. If you want to stay natural, you can do that. I guess speaking for myself, because I know people probably would ask me, what do I overall prefer? Now the thing is, is that um i don't particularly care you know it's like as long as you're you know good to me and i'm good to you we can have a successful relationship that's all that i'm worried about and even if it's on some stuff where it's like let's say it's somebody that i you know i i know i'm never gonna be in a relate like let's say it's somebody on tv let's let's say it's somebody on one of them like housewife shows or the, um somewhere one of them reality shows right I, I'm really not going to care. That stuff ain't got nothing to do with me. Now, I have spoken out about, like, getting work done to your body. I even know it was um crazy. I remember there was one uh, night where I made a post and I was talking about that. I'm like, you know, you shouldn't have to alter your body for anybody's satisfaction. It's like, you know, you should do whatever you want to do with your body. But it's like, I think I did say some along the lines, like, I do like a natural body and stuff. And, um, but no, a friend of mine's had took it the wrong way and they thought like, I was saying like, you shouldn't get no form of work done to your body. And then they were reaching out to me and they were getting on me saying like, well, what if they got like a medical issue? Or I'm like, okay, well, if they have a medical issue, that's a different story. I'm saying like for, you know, if you trying to get more likes on social media and get more subscribers for your OnlyFans, no, bruh, you shouldn't. The thing is, is this. For other, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say um this again. You should never have to get any form of body work to satisfy others. If them others ain't satisfied with who you are, with what you were born with, you are surrounded by the wrong people. 
that ain't got nothing to do if you have like because no i i did i remember i did hear about like the surgery where it's like if um a woman has a uh, breast cancer and they get like their um their breast removed and i think like they could overall um add uh implants or they could just leave nothing there but yeah, it's like, fam, if you're doing it for stuff like that, then it's like, okay, you know, protect yourself. I'm not going to, you know, step in the way of that. Like, that, and the thing was, is like, I wasn't even um, making, if it, if it had been something where it was like, um, they reached out to me and they was like, hey, what did you mean by your post? And then they just let me explain myself. But no, you know, because like, because I was like, the thing was, is like, it was early in the morning. I was like, I don't want to argue. I'm like, I just want to sleep. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm like, like, I ain't got time for this time, but no, it did kind of leave me, um, a little upset, because I'm like, I, you know, if people just actually sat down and took the time to understand what I'm saying, and I'm like, I'm not, yeah, I guess, like, maybe I could have worded it differently and things, but I'm like, at the end of the day, it's just, yeah, I'm not saying it because of, like, oh, I, you know, even if you got, like, a medical, if it's for medical reasons, like, no, you still should know, if it is for medical reasons, like, you should get, uh, any, any form of surgery that you need to get and stuff but yeah i guess you know communication wasn't uh, a key that day so but anyways um but yeah it's like it's just one of those things where it's like you know oh because you see all these other girls on social media getting bbls and i guess that's called the um bbl stands for um i, I guess a uh, brazilian um booty lift if you're getting a bbl because you're seeing everybody else getting bbls no like that that's just that's that's just a fat no and i know people probably would um you know use like because i feel like people would get on me for saying some stuff like that it's like oh well you going when you see people with the latest jordans you go out and get them not all jordans there's some jordans that i passed up on because i'm like nah that's just that's that's not me that's not the type of stuff that i wear but let's just say if it was you know if that was the case right you can take off a pair of jordans put them in a box and you can let them sit there for a few days and wear them whenever you feel like wearing them it's not like i'm being forced to wear them or i'm gonna mess around and have some sort because there's people out there getting these bbls from like shady doctors now i don't think if you go to like a Foot Locker or a champs like they gonna sell you some shady shoes but overall though it's like yeah it's what like i'm i'm confused by like how can you compare shoes to and i'm thinking because yeah it's it's stuff like that where they're like there ain't no comparison you know it's it's just you can't compare shoes to uh you know injections or implants or whatever because it's like if that stuff goes wrong and it gets because i think i have heard situations where it's like that stuff's gone wrong and then got into a person's bloodstreams and then killed them i ain't never heard of no jordan getting into a blood into a person's bloodstream and killing Let, let's just see if there are any air jordan related deaths because i'm i'm now curious air jordan related deaths if like i nike air jordan who's to blame kids who, who um blame his kids keep killing kids over other sports from uh, by wait what? what what are they saying in America, cities, kids are killing kids over sneakers and other sports apparel, um, apparel, whatever that word is, favored by drug dealers. Who's to blame? The kids, the kid that's going out and doing the killing. That, but that's like that. Um, that ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm like, or it's not. That's like the thing is this. People, and that's even talking to a person with a natural body, it's like, you gotta put in work for what you want in this world, right? You have to. You gotta put in work for the stuff that you want in this world. So it's like, if you want a bigger butt, go to the gym, work out. It will be much more satisfying doing that rather than because bro i do you know how many times on tiktok because i like a lot of different workout videos do you know how many times on tiktok where there will be some girl um posting about like how her butt looked like some time ago straight flat like cardboard flat tired like it honestly would have used a good spray of fix a flat right but no, jokes aside though, um, booty was flat. She hit the gym. She started doing all these uh, different butt exercises. And no, I ain't even gonna lie. I'm like, girl was thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. <laughs> I'm like, it's it's one of those things where it's just where you see the results. Then it's like, dang, you know, because me when the thing is, is this. I know when I had started working in Seattle, and then when you get that first paycheck. 
you want more paychecks, you know, like, and that's where I'm like, me, I've just, you know, throughout the time have became even more of a hard working person because I like the paychecks. I'm like, I like the money. I like to be able to, you know, where it's like, I have the money to go out and buy whatever I want to buy and stuff, you know, where it's like, that's, that's what I want in life. But it's like, I'm not going to go out and take from others because I want with no that's just that's not legit that's not and you know there's people out there that they don't think along those lines they don't care they don't care if that stuff ain't legit they're all like no I'm gonna still go out rob kill and all this other stuff but overall though it's like no I guess I think I just think that if people actually sat down took the time to actually you know motivate themselves to be a hard worker it's like you can't go wrong with that you know you can't do prison time for being a hard worker and doing the right thing you can't get no prison time for that you don't get no death sentence when you uh inject your butt with some whatever or breast with whatever and then it gets into your bloodstreams and but overall though like but no getting back to what i was saying though i was like yeah i ain't i ain't never heard no um air jordan if i bruh i'm telling you right now if I had to go to the hospital, cause I'm like, bro, my my foot, it, it feels it feels weird. Like, what's what's going on? Like, why? And they talking about this Air Jordan One, lost and found. We are gonna be a little specific on this one, but they are like the Air Jordan One, lost and found, got into your bloodstream. I'm like, I I would be so confused, cause I'm like, how how does that like? Like, was my foot cut or something? Like, how does, like, no, when you put the shoe on, it it got into your bloodstream. I'm like, yeah, but my question is, was my foot cut open? Because I don't know how. It's like, with the, especially with a thick sock on, all right, and ash on top of my foot, how is that even possible? I'm like, nah, bro, that Air Jordan is cursed. That somebody done put some voodoo stuff on that Air Jordan, and I'm like, uh uh-uh, no, that's not, that's not right. That's not right, and that's not normal. I'm like, no, we need to figure out who made that Jordan and arrest them. They need to be the ones spending time in prison and getting the death sentence. How did like, why are you going to put a curse on my Jordan? And I'm like, fam, put a, a curse on a pair of Jordans. Ain't nobody going to wear, you know, it's like, it, it's, it's just, it's crazy, man. But anyways, um, but yeah, it's like overall though, it's this, the thing is this, I'm not trying to throw like, you know, people under the bus that do have like, um, work done to their bodies. It's like, you know, overall, if you feel, um, satisfied with that, I'm like, Hey, you know, it's, it's up to you. It's your money. It's just like what I was saying. It's like, you know, where, when you work hard enough and then you get them you get that money that paycheck you buy whatever you want to buy if that's what you want to buy fam go for it buy whatever you want to buy i'm not the thing is this i'm not trying to control people on what they want to buy if you want to go out get you a bbl breast implants uh what are some other crazy i I remember the one where i was like okay now that's that's questionable i'm like breast and butt implants i i can work with but this guy wanted to get it was this so there is this old tv show i think it came out on either mtv or vh1 but there is this old tv show um and there's these people and they just was detailing like their day-to-day lives right this guy wanted to get um like horns in his uh head i guess i don't know to resemble a demon or a devil or something and i'm like why would you why would you do that to yourself you know it's like i i guess like if you may be going to a carnival or if you you know but it's like fam you you don't need to do that to yourself it, it's things like that where i'm and i know people are like but it's his body he gets to do it i'm like yeah i i get i think he ended up getting it removed i was like no i think he ended up getting it removed and i think there was a guy on there i remember he uh it was it was yeah it was a guy he wanted breast implants um, what are some other things? I mean, yeah, like I said, you know, but it, it's like with the homie though, like I don't, I don't know how I would feel with the homie. It's like, you know, he, he comes through and it's like, I guess like if he's going through a change that I'm like, okay, that makes more sense. But if he's still a homie and things like he trying to be tough and then, but he got like cleavage, <laughs> like bro. It, and let's say he's like my size, right? It ain't like he's a large individual where it's like, okay, you know, that's just, that's just his body size and stuff. No, like I'm saying he's like, me and he trying to be tough he getting in people's face and things trying to start up a fight and it's like homie you got unwanted cleavage like 
I I don't I don't think a lot of people are gonna take you serious. I mean, I guess I I guess until you throw that first punch and then they realize, oh, he is being serious. But it's like, yeah, that's just everybody gonna be thinking they getting pranked. They're gonna be like, why why is this small man walking up to me with breasts? So I'm like, that's no. I give maybe if he had been a larger individual and stuff, but no, he he's he's my size. I'm like I'm I'm not really that big of a person and things. I've been skinny my whole life. All right, like it's just my my bones my bones have gotten bigger. But yeah, my my body size though it's yeah I've, I've been been small my whole life all right so but anyways um but no like i you know i think though like that's what i remember when uh, my friend when uh i did make that post on social media and i remember my friend hey i think if it had been like later on in the day oh i would have had time to argue i 100 percent would have had time to argue because i i think that definitely would have been one of the things i said to her i'm like okay so you know what to um i'm like no tomorrow i'm gonna look up um breast and butt implants and i'm like and i want to hang out with you for a whole 24 7 20 24 hours just so you can like get that feel like huh like you're gonna be looking at that like that's weird because i'm like that it's just you know it's just in some cases where it's like like, I get it. It makes sense. But in other cases, let, let's just say my excuse is like, oh, I just want to know what it feels like. I just want to know what it feels like to sit on a on a pillow that's attached to my body and to look down and see my uh, chest protruding out my, uh, you know, out of my body and things. Yeah, let, let's let's just get that feeling things. But I should I should overall do that one of these days, play that prank and just by like, but remember when you said, you know, that whole thing that morning about, you know, body choices and all that stuff like what? Why, why all of a sudden? the change you know that's like that's what i mean it's like i'm saying like <laughs> that wasn't the case that wasn't what i was trying to um talk about i was like i'm just telling people it's like overall moral of this podcast episode accept your body for you know what it is you know don't allow people to influence you to get um alter your body and stuff and don't allow people with um you know unpaid or yeah um like exceeding past the balance credit cards and unpaid parking tickets freaking uh uh, some probably some dirty white air forces that they don't even bother to clean and they don't bother to go out and get themselves some new ones uh they go and drive a honda a uh, newer honda civic and think that it's a mercedes don't let people that's live they're not living a perfect life either but don't let them influence you into doing stuff that you don't want to do all right so anyways and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening if you're viewing this on youtube make sure you like and subscribe and if you're viewing this in a podcast sharing service make sure you follow or subscribe however it's set up make sure you subscribe to one of my 46 youtube channels follow me on twitter tiktok twitch instagram at tmosboss and make sure you follow my facebook page at tmosboss fan page also if you are purchasing any tickets from seat gig make sure you use my promo code tmosboss and win out $20 off your first purchase also if you are purchasing any uh energy drinks or sleep drinks from poggers make sure you use my promo code tmosboss and knock 10 percent off your next purchase if you want to learn more about uh poggers and seat gig you can go to my twitter account uh their twitter um accounts are in my bio section on my profile so you can just click on it takes you right to their website see everything you need to see so anyways and that being said talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and listening and peace